All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, let's go ahead and create our query on our login.php page. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this all the way down to there and delete that. You can keep our else statement with our errors right there. So I'm going to go ahead and make a quick comment. Nope, that's not how we do a comment. PHP check database to see if username password exist. And let's go ahead and start writing this bad boy. So I'll do uh, query and again we're finding something so we need to select ID username and close that out and let's concatenate from users I believe it's plural not users yeah I think it is and let's just keep concatenating this bad boy um, where username equals our variable equals and remember the single quotations because our variable is a string and let's close nope I need a single quotation there I'll give it a space before I add my double quotation right there, just to kind of distinguish between my single quotation and my double quotations. And let's add from username, bring in our password now, and hashed underscore password is equal to our, I'm just going to go ahead and steal this. But it's not username, it's hashed underscore password. Hashed underscore, nope, way off. Sorry about that. Let me look at this. Looks good so far. And let's go ahead and just create, uh, let's concatenate a limit one so our database doesn't get out of control and pull anything back. And we'll probably use our um, MySQL number rows um, function in this video as well. So let's just go ahead and create a little bit more of accuracy just to help out our database. And now let's go ahead and create our result. Let's ask our question. Result set equals MySQL query, which is our third step. Yeah, we got our third step. Ask a question, query. That's what we're doing right here with our MySQL query. You guys already knew that. And we are asking our variable of query, which concludes everything here. We just keep concatenating onto it. And uh, let me see. Let's do confirm query. Let's pull in our result set. So if all this is true, Everything should work like a charm. And let me look at this for a second. Okay, looking good so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and run an if statement to return our data. So if MySQL number rows, and you guys are familiar with this PHP function now, it returns one column with our variable of result sets our question. Let's go ahead and paste that in there. Um, is equal to one. Then let's go ahead and nope. Execute username password work and there's one match. Just one match. Perfect. And I'm going to create a variable now. We'll just call it found user for our fourth step of connecting to a database, which is MySQL underscore fetch array. Whoop, MySQL underscore fetch array right here, returning our data. If there is any data to return, let's hope so. Let's hope that we know what we're doing. And let's pull in our variable, our query. 
just like that. And let's go ahead and close this out. And if so, let's uh, redirect. You can use header or redirect to our faculty.php faculty page. Okay, or if not, if there's a problem, let's just go ahead and um, message equals username or password uh, is incorrect. And let's be a little bit more specific or help out the, the user a little bit better. So let's do break. Please make sure your caps lock key is off. Yeah, that was nice of us. And that's it. That is exactly it. All right, guys, so make sure you guys have this correct information right here. This is our query. We're going to be using it. So good luck with this. I'll see you guys in the next video.